So this is a directory. That's the URL of the directory. And if you want to download it, you would just say git dir and download that. And download complete. Hello and welcome. This video is going to tackle a very common situation. Um, suppose you're writing a Python program and you need to download a resource from somewhere, like a text file or a JSON file. The most common place that's going to be found is GitHub. And so in this program, whether you're using Linux or Windows, I'm going to show you how to essentially write a Python script that downloads um, files as well as folders from GitHub. Let's get started. All right, so here's the second outcome. Um, how to use Python scripts to download files or folders from GitHub. And just to give you an idea um, of what I faced the first time I needed to do this type of stuff. Essentially, if you want to clone the whole Git repository, that's easy. There's a single command. If you want to get files or folders, you're going to be faced with very, very long discussion threads on Stack Overflow. So if you're looking for an easy way to do it, um, this is it. So let's just go into one of these. This is the competition that I had. Um, this one's a, you know, it's going to represent a bit of a challenge because it's got the space and the directory name. You don't necessarily want to do that um, if you're relying on GitHub uh, for your code project, but okay. Um, let's say I want to download this file. Um, what I would normally do in Linux, I would click on the raw. I would get this link because this is a link to the raw file. And I would w get it. Maybe I'm just going to create a folder for this. Sorry. I mean, this is file manipulation. So we're going to have a directory called uh, git downloads, git downloads, cd, git downloads. And I would w get that. And as you can see, um, the file has been downloaded. Everything's good. LS, the message is there. Okay. So that would be what you would do in Linux with a single file. However, um, our job here is to do this with Python scripts. So let's do that. I'm just going to remove this message. And we're going to start writing our Python script. This time, to keep things interesting, I'm going to use a, an editor called gedit. So I'm going to say sudo gedit. And I'll say. Hmm, git file.py, get git file, get, uh, I don't know, this will do. Um, this is the editor. I think I might have messed around too much and made this font slightly too big. Um, somewhere in the preferences, under the editor, fonts and colors, you can edit the font. I think 18 is too big, 16, that, that feels all right. Okay. So how do you do this if you're not going to use wget? Um, obviously, the easy way is just use OS system wget. But um, you basically can import a very specific library, url lib.request. And this method's going to help us essentially um, request a file from this URL. Um, and let's see if we can do that. So I think I've still got the, the raw URL link of this. It's right there. I'll keep it copied in the clipboard. And try to um, just go straight for the jugular URL lib.request.com url retrieve and then um, this is where you specify um, your url and your file name so that would be the url maybe control v and then a comma and then i don't know i'm gonna call it file.txt so Looking at it, I just think um, pretty much everything when it comes to parameters of, of files and directories is usually in quotes in Python. So this should this should work like this, but 
I would be a little bit nervy. Python 3 git file ls file.txt it's there cat file.txt that is it that was that encrypted message that I copied so that worked wonderfully so why don't we edit it some more and now instead of actually worrying about um, doing it in a very specific case let's do the general one let's basically get the URL as an argument URL equals to sys.argv1 so now that URL is the first argument and so if you say uh, git file.py and you add that URL I mean that should that should be it you're also gonna need the file name and that's gonna be a bit harder to work out but let's just replace this whole thing here with URL that's a good start and now for the file name you could basically split the URL like there's this thing called um, reverse split file name equals to URL dot reverse or R split and if you split that on a backslash I'll show you what happens it's genius um, basically the, the the last thing that if you split on a backslash the very last bit of that is going to be the name of the file so you can basically get the original file name um, I think with the R split um, you could do split and or, or use minus one or do reverse split and use one doesn't matter I think the R split one or you could do split minus one this should this should work Mm -hmm. um, save, close, attempt, Python 3. Now I gotta paste the URL. Copy, paste. Here we go. The ultimate success. Wait, it didn't. Oh. Nah, I miss I misbasted it. Let me go into the raw. Thirteen Caesars txt. So Python three, git file. That's it. Here we go again. Ls. Why is it still called file.txt? It's there. It is there, but uh, file name. File name is that. It should be message 13 caesars.txt. And I'm going to try to split it and just do the last one on the split. Maybe I misunderstood something about the way our split works because it's something I've never used before. So let's try this again. ls there it is so sorry about that um just one more time so you can see the mistake that i made i wrongly assumed that r split is pretty much the same thing as split but in reverse i have no idea because r split one i thought was the same thing as split minus one um Maybe it's R split zero. I'm not going to experiment here, but basically you could just use split minus one. Minus one refers to the last item in the list. So you split that list into a bunch of pieces and the very last item is going to be the file name. And that's that. That works great. So the very last thing we're going to be doing is going to be to download a folder. And in order to do this, I will resort um, to using Linux commands. So <laughs> I'll need to install something called git dir, which I pip install git dir, which I have already installed, so it should be requirement already satisfied. And the thing about git dir is if you go into a, a GitHub repository and 
let me just pick something that doesn't have uh, spaces. So this is a directory. That's the URL of the directory. And if you want to download it, you would just say git beer and download that. And download complete ls. It would have the folder structure and then the specific folder that you want it. Um, so it has the name of the prior folder and the specific folder. So in order to make this work, um, it's really, really simple. Uh, I'll just remove the R and R. So that's gone. To do this within a script, I'll create one. I'll go into git edit, uh, g edit, sudo j edit, and I'll call this git folder.py, and we're in this directory, and I mean, we'll just import os, and we'll import sys, and then os.system, we are going to call g what was it what was that thing again get dir get dir space boom and then we're going to add the first argument which is going to be the get address uh sys.argv1 and really that will do i don't think there's anything else necessary so i'm going to save this and i'm going to try to get the very same folder um, down using the script python 3 git folder and then you paste that system 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 save close here we go Gij all right um i hope that <laughs> i hope that your spelling's better than mine um uh i blame the baby my wife and i just had a baby i don't have that much sleep and i'm fine while i can think clearly um my accuracy with things is is off nowadays so there it is voila so we have downloaded files and folders with github all right well done for getting to the end of the video i mean at this stage we're hanging out and you should probably stay subscribed wait for the next one so this is the repository where all of these linux uh, windows you know file system style scripts are going to live and these two, the, um, the file and folder downloader are the ones we've done today. This is sort of a more advanced version that I've done in collaboration with my friend Mohammed Dawood. And that uses the argument parser. It, it's, it's got a help function. And essentially it works out whether you're using a file or a folder and it cleans up the links a little bit. So it's, it's kind of what happens is at the third, fourth iteration. So if you just need a script, use this one. But I hope that the tutorial has helped you out understand the concepts behind the libraries used. Okay, that's all. See you in the next one.